Hello, welcome back. Fred in the Shed. Just a quick little midweek video here. I've had a few comments over the weekends concerning uh, these Quangsheng, Quangsheng, I won't, I'll never get it right. I call them Quangsheng radios. And people are asking about the battery capacity because when I tested this one, which was the UV5R Plus, it has a 2200 mAh battery. And these other versions I've got, I've got a smaller battery, I believe it's 1600. So people have said, is it a compatible battery? Can I swap it over? I don't know. <laughs> That's the answer. So in this video, I thought we'll uh, we'll find out. So this is the uh, the Quanshang UVK5. This is the eight version. This is the most popular radio at the moment. So let's take the battery out. It's a little stiff. There we go. And then uh, let's take the larger battery out of the UV5R Plus. And there we go. See, they look the same. Just eyeballing the two backs of the radios. And again, eyeballing the batteries. They look the same. Moment of truth then. Let's see if the larger battery fits. The answer is no it doesn't. Something at the top. Stay there. There's a little Yeah, and okay, I can see it now. Hopefully you can see it on camera. There's like a little tag there, a little plastic extension. It's hard to see. I don't want to bring it too close because I'll, I'll bugger up the focus. But that battery hasn't got it. That battery does have it. So if you wanted to swap the larger battery over, I imagine if you was just to file that off with a file, I think, looking at the radios, that would fit. Because they look the same. Let's try it the other way around. So let's take the smaller 1600 mAh, see if that goes in. Yeah, absolutely. So that's compatible. And I imagine it's going to be the same with this RetiVest version. This is what the RA79, which is the uh, UVK5. And again, that hasn't got the little tag, we'll call it. Yeah, and it's a, it's the same problem. It just it's a bit annoying. So exactly the same problem. It's just that little ridge there. It's just stopping it going to the right. So are you gonna file that off? To be perfectly honest. So I hope that covers that. Unfortunately, they're not 100% um, compatible straight out of the box, which is a bit silly. But just the way it is. Now another thing that came up in the uh, in the comments by a Mr. T Turner, thank you very much, was when I mentioned the charging base which came with the UV 5R Plus. Um, he said that it's a good idea to use the base because he says there's more voltage coming through these two um, pins here on the base when you plug it in than if you were able to plug that radio straight into a USB-C that's only 5 volts and he reckons he's getting more voltage out of that. So what I'm going to do now because I haven't got the appropriate adapter here up in the shack no I haven't I'm going to take this downstairs and then I'll put my multimeter on it and we'll see if we get more than 5 volts out of the base. Firstly, please excuse the location which is uh, my ensuite bathroom. Unfortunately this is the only place I've got a two pin plug. We can test it right. I've got the base there plugged in and then I'm just going to put the uh, contacts on. And there you go, look at that, 8.36 volts. So yeah, Mr T Turner you're quite correct. Out of the base you're getting just under eight and a half volts compared to five volts straight into the radio. So uh, it does it does pay dividends 
to charge from the base because it will charge the battery quicker. Right, that's that answered. One last question that comes up time and time again is you say, Fred, is it not that these radios are all made in the same factory and then they're simply shipped out to the supplier and they stick their own logos on them, own packaging and whatnot? They're all the same. And honest answer is I haven't I don't know. I haven't got a clue. I mean and if I contacted Bofang and Quanchang and Retivest, they're not gonna tell me because obviously they wanna sell their own branded version of the radio. There are some subtle differences, obviously we found that uh, the Plus here hasn't got the USB charge port. These two radios, the 79 and the UV, they're the same to be honest. So yeah, I think it's possible that at least the boards are all made in one factory. Um, but yeah, I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments, um, possibly but can't say for sure. So I think that's it for this video, just a short midweek video just to answer some of the repetitive comments that are coming in, which is fine. Um, as always, thumbs up for your view, view time from Fred in the Shed. Thank you for dropping by. Look after each other. Stay safe. Just hit me a thumbs up before you go. I'd appreciate it. Catch you on the next one, guys. Cheers. Oh,